Hi friends! Welcome back to our channel, The Lane Lanes. I'm the Z Lane. I'm the M Lane. Oh yeah, and today <laughs> we're doing a Disney haul from our Disney trip. Yeah, we had filmed one before, um, and then it wasn't working, so... We working. decided to refilm one after we moved into the new place, which also an apartment tour will be coming soon. So you can see our digs. Come to our crib. Come to our crib. So how much did we spend in total? Do like, you think including just on the, with the trip? No, or? just on the souvenirs. All the toys and gimmicks that we got. I think that we spent I'm so asking like for a number for 750. 750? I want to say maybe 800. No. <laughs> There'll be 50 more. All in all, the since there's no dining plan anymore at Disney right now due to the pandemic, um, we spent quite a bit more than I thought we were going to spend. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we haven't ever gone on like a real vacation together. And after three years, I think we deserved it. So we just yeah. kind of went a little crazy. And got a lot of toys. We got a lot of stuff. And, but that means that we're not going to get it the next time. Maybe. I mean, it just depends on what's going to be out. I guess we can start with the things that we got for... So I had already given my parents their things, but they're pretty similar to the things we got his as well. So we got like his a... mom some beach sand. From, Our beach sand. From Panama City. And then it's got shelf. some shells in there. And then we got her husband, his stepdad. He he actually got it, but we picked it up for him. Yeah. And it says pew pew on the side. Pew. And we got this at. It's lovely. Uh, I want to say this is from the gift shop right outside of Star Tours. Yep. It was. I, I can't think of the, what the name of it's called, but I will put it down in the description. It wasn't Doc Onders. No. To tell you that. Yeah, it was not Doc Onders. Or any of the places in Galaxy's Edge. It was definitely by Star Tours. Yep. And then this little guy is from my dad from the Japanese Pavilion and World Showcase. Focus on his face there. That's actually all like mustache, mm -hmm. beard kind of stuff. It looks like whiskers, but he's just really hairy. And the idea is you make a goal or a wish or something like that and as it comes true little by little like halfway there you color in one eye and once it's achieved or it comes true you fill in the second eye and it's just kind of like a little elf on the shelf kind of reminder if you will yeah they had a lot of cool stuff in their little shop there the mitsukoshi i think it's what it's called and then we also so we did pick up a few things at doc ondar's and we got these we got one for ourselves. You can't see it. We got one for my dad. He's also a huge Star Wars fan, and this is for his stepdad. It's a kyber crystal. Yeah. yeah. And you have the choice in these ones, I believe, to pull either a red one or a black one. And so I'm waiting to hear what my dad pulled. <laughs> Last thing we got was for a sister because um, she watched our new puppy for 12 days. And I, girl. Good on her. I applaud you because she's thing. hard. <laughs> she's a hard little... Anyway. Me and my sister share a common love <clears throat> for the Lion King. Thus, <laughs> Simba Cup. Simba Mug. Yeah, and it's cool because this is like his ear, which I didn't notice that at first. And this is, it, this kind of like protrudes out a little bit if you can see that it comes out. And so when you put it yeah. up to your face, you're Simba. Oh. And then the back is... Rafiki's little hand drawing. Yeah. Huh. And the this, king is back! This was... It's good for the dishwasher and the microwave, just FYI. Oh, both. But to put on, uh, like, a price tag, cause I don't remember how much a lot of these things were, this was 20 The Pew Pew mug was 15, 15. This little guy was about 10 give or take. Mm -hmm. The Kyber crystals are 15 each. Yeah, those are pretty pricey. We're gonna dive into a bit more of a Star Wars trend if we can, because that is the majority of our haul. Yep. Thanks to yours truly, I'm obsessed. Well, I'm obsessed too. No, I'm you are probably more because you wanted a popcorn bucket. <laughs> the 
Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon. Heck yeah. As a I, popcorn bucket. I saw it hanging um, over by... I don't remember where it was at. I think it was right outside of uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yep. That little pretzel cart there. I saw one and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So then I, we went over by the Brown Derby and they had these, like, I mean, stacks oh. of them. It's Whoa. pretty deep in there, too. I mean, it goes all the way down to the bottom. It holds a lot of popcorn. Yeah. But we didn't get any popcorn in it because we no. did not want it greasy and crummy. Yeah, we did that with something else we'll show you later in it. We still haven't <laughs> I, I have never in my life just hung up a popcorn bucket as decoration. The best part about this one yeah. is a little button back here. If I can get it. There's oh, boosters. Yeah. Boosters. They light up. It's a little bright. There it is. Hitting that light speed. Go, Chewie! I want to say it was 20. Probably, yeah. Because most of these things and sippers and stuff are roughly like 15 to 20 bucks. Especially if you get the alcohol in them, which we almost always got the alcohol. Why which not? Which was totally worth it. <laughs> Every because time. Because in this one, I had look to at have that. it. I had to have the frog sipper. Yeah. It's like a, I don't even know. Like a grenade looking it's, it's canteen. Weird. And this one also turns on on the bottom. It does turn on. And on the inside. You got a, ooh, got a, like a little catfish tadpole looking. He's a frog. Yeah. It's an alien frog that Jabba the Hutt slurps on. <laughs> Probably mm -hmm. won't ever um, use anything in it again because they gave me kind of a broken one. Which is fine, because I was going to use it for display anyway. Another Star Wars bottle. Yeah, it was a need. I know that they're like almost six bucks for this tiny little thing, and the other ones are like three. Yeah. But it it's like you have to get it, and I want to like get the Diet cap. Coke and the Sprite when we go back. It's like a little capsule, mm -hmm. and it's mm, about the same as a normal can in terms of like How much the is fluid. In it? Yeah, so... It's really you're paying for this, the bottle, which is why she got it. She got it. So we also, I have, okay, I asked for this for Christmas. And then I thought, well, you know what? It's probably better just to go ahead and get him while we are there. And we also found him outside of the Star Tours because I mean, he's everywhere, but I wanted it to come from somewhere specific. Not Galaxy's Edge because they were way too busy. So we got Grogs. Grogs frogs. Grogs frogs. Grogs frogs. That's his so, sw swamp cafe. We have Grogs a frogs. lot of plans for this little guy. Aww. He's gonna be oh. in our videos. He's he's he was masked when we were at the parks. People loved that. Yeah, and we we have like we go on a fishing vacation every year. He has like a little fishing outfit. I can't wait. God. You guys are gonna see all kinds of insta pics. Yeah. Getting ridiculous with this little guy. Maybe he has his own Instagram. Yeah, we'll see. Either way. He was twenty four ninety nine, I believe. There is another one that moves. That's like seventy or eighty dollars. I just. I wanted this. I like oh. that he's a plushie, that he yeah. moves around, and that he's like life size. Like this is probably what his size actually is. Somewhat, yeah. The other one is like honestly probably half that. It's so and small. It moves and makes noises, sure, but what? And then one more thing, and I've already taken it apart because I didn't want the batteries to die. So let me grab the. the what are you talking about? Yes, let me grab it. Hang on. So. <laughs> We were going to do two, but we ended up doing one because we um, spent more money than we thought that first day. <laughs> hey! So we decided to just do one this time. And when we go back, we'll do another because this was the most emotional experience I think I've almost ever had at Disney World. So... And the most expensive souvenir I've ever had gotten. In my life, yeah. ever. I've never gotten anything this expensive that is just gonna sit there forever. $220. <laughs> just but so worth know. it, but worth it. Cause I mean, look at this thing. So first, when you get there, they 
We went to Savi's, okay? We're not gonna be secret about it anymore. We went to Savi's workshop and built a lightsaber. They give you this when you pick, like, what kind of hilt you wanna build. So cool. We picked the power, um, power and control hilt. And this is her. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. When you pick the style of hilt, there's four styles. Obviously a Jedi, there's like an elemental one, others, but when you go in, they have like a tray full of different pieces mm -hmm. that go with that style. So you can still mix and match and get different kind of sabers than other people, even if you pick the same power and control thing. And it's legit metal. It's not just a bunch of plastic. Yeah, I it's definitely real. thought watching these videos on YouTube that this was gonna be just like this plastic thing. And I was kind of gonna be upset why we would spend so much money on, I mean, you're, you're spending the money on the experience, end of story, because I cried, he cried, and he didn't I even cried. build the lightsaber. I like, just he watched. Was, right, so yeah. we, we both cr cried so much. <laughs> Uh, so, in without the blade in here, it just makes the... Oh wait, it might be dead. Yeah. So, that's what it sounds like the first time, too, before they even, like... Quality. And then they also give you this... I mean, it, you're spending so much money, they better. They give you this nice little case, too, that's got Whoa. the lightsaber. Oh! Logo and stuff on and it. And it fits the whole thing. Yeah, and my... Okay, caboodle. If you can hear it my blades in there right now. Which we got red, obviously. Yeah, I definitely picked the red kyber crystal, which you guys will see in a vlog coming up in a couple of weeks, so. And it also has this nice little belt thing, so if I wanted to wear it to the park, because I was looking at robes, that will probably be a purchase next time we go. And I can still wear a kid's size, and they're like 20 to $30 cheaper, so. Extra large child, I'm, I'm coming for you. The clothes, the not, clothes. <laughs> not the actual. We did end up going to Oga's Cantina and I, I grabbed these real quick. Just some nice coasters. Snag some free coasters. And they've got yeah. some different things on the back. And this is on the side of the building so you know where the cantina is. And speaking of glasses, that leads me to this cute little stein from the German pavilion. Yeah, it was our first beverage of the day. So shiny, sorry, but nice German flag, beer garden, <laughs> beer garden Epcot, Germany. Yeah, we got a Schaffel, Schaffelhofer. Schaffelhofer Hefeweizen. The, yeah, the pink grapefruit, oh my gosh. So crisp, so sweet. It was a very good first beer of the day. Yeah. Both times. Yeah. <laughs> Both times. Both. Are we ashamed? No. No. $15 total, though, to get the beer sign. I thought it was going to be a little bit nicer. This was technically like five bucks. It's the drink that was like but ten, or vice okay. versa. Either way, oh, we drink a lot of we coffee. We drink a lot. Hot chocolate. We drink a lot. We drink just drinks. And so the next thing, I guess we forgot one more Star Wars thing. Well, it's a cup though, so it's kind of hard to, how do you know, you know? So I also found this at that same Star Tours trading poster. I don't remember what it's called. I keep saying it and I don't know. You don't know. But I'll put it down in the description for sure. Um, but I found this and I loved the original trilogy, four, five, and six, because I mean, other than Hayden Christensen's not in them, but hmm. it is what it is. I got this mug, and it's got the movie posters Sick. from the first three. Oh, yeah. And then on the inside, it's got Star Wars. And it is a lightsaber hilt handle. And this thing is huge, like... Or maybe you're giant. Just we also got this mug, and I have been eyeballing this mug for quite some time, and it is the tree of life because I just can't get enough of this park. It is so beautiful. It, I mean, it looks just like the tree. It's embossed, like you can see, obviously, that it's protruding and stuff, and the bottom looks like the stump growing into the ground. The inside has the same shape 
kind of. It's kind of like it's being really in, deep. it's tough to be a bug on the inside because it's so hollow. Yep. And I think it was what, 21? 23, same thing, but it's heavy. Yeah, and it's a big mug as well. Got a miniature tree of life in the cupboard. Uh -huh. And I can't uh -huh. wait to use it too. Also, uh -huh. the Star Wars mug was $20. Um, so we all, I've never been to the Festival of the Arts at Epcot. And I've just never really, been. Yeah, he's never been to Epcot. And I'm really excited that we got to experience that this time. And I saw on, um, I think it was WDWNT or something, that the Pop Eats was going to have a really cool, like, plating and stuff. And they did. Modern. Very modern and contemporary. And they gave contemporary. us pop cans. Because it's like one was, this was tomato soup. And the lid comes off so you can store stuff in there. <laughs> That's cute. And then this one was for my Bloody Mary. And the same thing, you could store stuff in there. Yeah, they were like a, American cuisine, kind of average, mm -hmm. like grilled cheese, yep. tomato soup kind of stuff. Oh, but it was so good too. With like a modern artistic twist. But we had decent. already gotten to like the end of the night where it was so hard to finish it all. But I had Maybe for you. I had to have those cans. They were so great. They were so good. Moving on to the next cup. I think it's our last cup. I hope so. Whoa! It's the claw. Look at them. Way down there in the bottom. Getting attacked by the claw. Oh, and that's a disco party. It's, it's, it's spinning really fast. Yeah. You can slow it down. And then there's like an even slower, but it kind of it goes back and forth and changes. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> we picked up this at uh, Woody's Lunchbox. We just got a Coke in it. You can get like a specialty lemonade or slush or something. Another but seven, eight dollars. We weren't, we weren't really nah, digging that. Nah, just needed some drink. Some good old fashioned Coca-Cola. If you haven't been to Woody's Lunchbox, definitely, definitely, definitely get on that. Tacho chili bowl. And it was all plant-based because I, I'm i vegetarian. I still eat fish sometimes, whatever, but it's nice to be able to eat something like that with chili. And if you don't understand, it's tacho, as in tater tots. And, and Fritos. In a nachos. In yeah. a nacho style kind of bowl. So mm -hmm. it's like the, your lunch cafeteria snack type of foods that mm -hmm. you find, but like high class combination into a chili bowl. I was, I, it was just overwhelmingly good for how simple it was. Yeah, and Honestly. we probably could have shared it for a, the big portion that it was. If we wanted to eat more, like for next time, we'll probably know not to get a thing for each person every yeah. single time. Honestly, guys, you go through, it, even with one other person, a couple or a parent or a friend, whatever, mm -hmm. you guys could probably share the majority of snacks yeah. and dinners and lunches, whatever they allow if you to you share. Can, right, yeah. if it's fixed, if it's like a prefixed menu, like our Be Our Guest was, that's mm -hmm. not gonna happen. Those real fancy high price ones won't yeah. let you, but majority let you share and the portions are plenty big mm -hmm. that we almost had some leftovers even after sharing. Kind of works out in a budget sense if that's something really on your mind. And you want more toys than food, kind of like we did. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do the same thing next time. Limit our food even more when it comes to the bigger places as opposed to like eating more at Epcot. <laughs> yeah, the World Showcase stuff was so cool. I wanna yeah. get all of that. Try to get to Beer Garden this time and maybe get like a flatbread pizza oh, man. in Italy. Ooh. Or good old pretzel. Mm -hmm. We're just the rambling. big old pretzels, ooh baby. We forgot this little gem. Mm -hmm. Bam! We got a Buddha board. Buddha board. We found this at Mitsukoshi as bunch. well. Buddha board. And it was about eighteen dollars, seventeen ninety five. Yeah. Um, and Whoa. it's like one of those boards that you write with water and then it disappears throughout the day. Yeah. Inspired by the Zen idea of living in the moment. So you have an idea or a picture, poem word even I guess you just get it out so it's not taking up any more space up in here yeah. and you can continue to be creative and hopefully stress-free but they had other sizes too we got the smallest this is the smallest for $18 yeah. so keep that in mind you want a full-size thing probably going double in price yeah I think it was about 40 it's 30, the mini maybe so. even 25 I don't remember 
fun. A cute, fun little kitchen item, I think. So, some quick little items. We went, with this thing, we went to Raglan Road for our anniversary. And I wanted to kind of keep things really close to home because we're both um, English background, even though it's an Irish pub. It still felt very uh, homey, if you will. Just comfortable. Yeah, very sure. comfortable. And so I had already picked up one of these um, in one of my previous trips with my last name on it. And so we picked up one of his. And it's the lane patch. And then on the back, it kind of gives you a description of, you know, where the lanes came from or who the lanes are in Me. Ireland. Me. Yeah. And where, like, the name, derivative, stuff like that. Family Crest. Yeah. So. I always like that stuff. We picked up that and then drank a lot of Guinness. A lot. Oh, yeah. And then we also Another got crystal. our own Kyber Crystal, which we opened this one already. What did we get? What'd we get, Lane? We got a red one. Oh. But this is what the lightsaber kyber crystal looks like that I put in the lightsaber as well. Yeah. And they actually work. Like, mm -hmm. you put it in and you will see it light up and it is what changes the color of your blade. And again, $15 for these, but... Well, speaking of $15, it's this was $15. <laughs> I had to have a glow teeny though. It, it was such a good evening after what happened to us. It is a plastic ice cube that lights Ooh, up. It's like a disco. And it's more than just purple, it's blue. It's all three. That one's just kind of super bright. Ooh, you can fade. Ooh. And I put these pictures up on um, my Instagram when I got it. It's crazy. It's red. There's the green, I there's really like the, blue. the blue. It comes out in blue, Oof. in a super sweet, but like kind of dry martini. And this is what you're paying for. I'll get six next time. You get to take this home, but yeah. this is what you're paying for. Can I get the glow teeny without the glow cube? Can I just keep moving my glow cube over to the next martini? Um, we also got a few pins when we were there and I picked up a trader pack uh, that had like five or six pins in it i think and the ones that came with it Bam! Simba. Simba. and of course i did not trade him away because that is my absolute favorite movie by disney but i did trade away one to get this guy hakuna matata hm. cute yeah, it's got like the normal walk line on the back Pretty sure all of them do, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's how you know it's a real pin. Mm -hmm. It's got the Mickey head waffling. And then another one that came with it was Mike Wazowski. That's my favorite. Yeah. He's so cute. He's so little. So proud of himself. That little smirk. Mike Wazowski. You thought it was Lazowski for like ever, didn't you? It is Lazowski. It's Wazowski. I say Lazowski. And I say it's wrong. This one we didn't get to trade away because for some reason, the line at the Animal Kingdom one was taking forever, so we decided to just leave. But it's Jiminy Cricket. So like, if anybody wants to trade for him, please shout out. Yep. take it. <laughs> he did trade away, I think like Tinkerbell or something, for a Mickey Waffle. Fair trade. Because I am obsessed with, and it's the hidden Mickey kind. I'm obsessed with the Mickey Waffles. We got them every morning. But Let's just talk about those Mickey Waffles real quick. Every single morning. They were so good. <laughs> Until got... I ordered the plant-based <laughs> by accident. And they, I think the only difference is they don't come with the malt mix. Yeah, they weren't Because it's as not as like crispy, smooth, but yeah, all that texture just wasn't there. But why do you got to change the potatoes too? Because the potatoes are... Of like vegan period they're already vegetarian why are they unsalted unseasoned nasty potatoes i said vegetarian not not bland yeah gross gross <laughs> um and so we did stay at pop pop century. century and i've stayed there before i did have this pen i got it stolen <laughs> oh it was stolen oh no stolen not like the bread but it was stolen Anyway, I did find it. Took me a minute to find this pen, actually. I hope you're watching, buddy. Better send it back. Pop Century, and then again, same waffle backing. And it's like at the end of a kiosk, right by the cash register. So you won't, you can't miss it. It's got all the, well, you can. 
because I did. You did, like um, the whole trip. You missed it. Okay, okay. You can get all of their merchandise right there. Um, on with pins still. Lane found it's these kind of guys. Are we where, Me. where were we? Them. I don't even remember. You can I think find it was them everywhere. No, I think we got these ones um, right outside. We had just finished fill our magic, and it is an Oswald. Nice. I like Oswald. He looks cool. And Ophelia. Old school. His yeah, girl. She's They're a cat. So cute. Did you know that? Cat. A cat and a bunny. That doesn't work. Also at that same shop, we got this guy and he found it. And Sorcerer Mickey is my absolute favorite Mickey. It's this guy. He's got his little sorcerer hat with the pixie dust in there. It does come out, but for the sake of authenticity. I'm never opening And it. never losing it or cleaning that up. Yeah, that was <clears throat> I don't think we got any other pins other than our anniversary button. Anniversary button. We got these guys too. And these, I mean, I'm telling you, if you're going to Disney, make sure you're celebrating something because they treat you like royalty. Every single person was like, congratulations. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Huh, what, uh, what did I do? Right. Oh wait, I got a button. Hey, yeah. Cool. You know, the magic bands are discontinued, so I did purchase these at a discount. They were five dollars each, and it's got our lane and lane on the inside. They were discontinued. Yeah, like Entirely? discontinued free with the room. So now you have to purchase them. After 2021, oh. I believe you don't get a discount on them on the rooms, and they just rolled out the new cards for the rooms. Okay. Like key cards, they're called right. key to the world. So it'll get you into the parks, into the hotel. It'll have you pay for everything if. That's the complimentary now, not the magic bands. Okay, honestly, let, let's have a little comment feedback war here. Cards versus magic bands. Yeah. Like, what do you, you guys think? I mean, think? you like, still get to buy the magic bands. Yeah, but this was so cool to walk by things and just boop. Yeah, pay for everything. Pay for it, let me in. Boop. It felt real elite. Now you just get out a card and you just kind of feel like your credit card swiping everything. And they, and they look like... The luggage tags. No. Um, we did get all of the park maps because I love park maps, and I haven't had any up updated park maps since COVID. So we got all of these. I didn't get to pick one up at Galaxy's Edge, though. I'm really upset. That's alright. So these are all the new COVID-19 maps. Yeah, it's even got like the mask on the front, which Completely. I make masks in this fabric if anybody wants it. <laughs> Basically, every cast member would yell at people, like, to put their mask back on, cover the nose. Even little children running around were yeah, called if, out. If you're over the age of two, you have to wear a mask. And I'm, I saw plenty of children that... I may not have a child, but I'm pretty sure what the average age of two looks like. And that was not And if you're, age. like, pretty much taller than your dad's hip, you're not two. Ramble over, thank you. It's my TED talk. <laughs> yeah. And then we also had this cute little note from our waitress at Ogus Cantina. Was it Ogus? Yeah, because she said the planet of Missouri come visit us again. It was cool. She was in so much character. She I pretended like, like Grogs was a not a wanted felon of some sort, you know? being the, the contract or what is it? The bounty? Yeah, he's the bounty. The and bounty. I also had forgotten my ID in a different purse. And she said that I could drink anyway because of my tattoos. <laughs> Whatever. Telling you guys, interstellar community is it. 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 Um, back so to nice. Epcot. We did pick up a few of these because I have, I've already done the Epcot passport book, but they don't do them right now. So instead, you go and you get all the cards. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't pick all of them up, but right. then on the back, they do have these cute little, oh. is that sideways? Yeah, cute little drawings. Yeah, you can color them in. You can. Get little I stickers. Not, but yeah, they come with stickers and stuff to put in all of your things. Let's be real though, I think the little passport's a lot more convenient. So we did this, Figment's brush with the masters. 
And you get all of these, the stickers here, and you have to go around World Showcase and find them. And Figment will be in the pictures, and then you put the sticker where you find it. Yeah. And this is this is um, because of the Festival of the Arts. Was and it, it was like eight dollars. Yeah. Yeah, and you can pick it up right as you come in from the Skyline or at that World World Travelers, I think, or right when you're coming into World Showcase from Future World. And when you turn that in, you get one of these. You get yeah. you get to pick from a few, but we got the Mickey Mouse one. And he's just like a little 3D card. paper model. And it also comes with the ball. Miniature Epcot ball. So cool. We also, I have like three of these. We picked up, picked up the Festival of the Arts passport books for the food. Checklist. Which we tried really hard to eat a lot of these, but it was just, wasn't gonna happen. Honestly, if you wanted to get every drink and food as much as possible in Epcot, that would have to be an entire vacation on its own just because of the cost. Everything is Five dollars at least. I was gonna say more like an average of 10. No, some of those some of those little dishes were about five bucks. Oh, okay, fair. Like the dragon fruit thing, I think it was only like five or six. Okay, still. But one more thing that I picked up at the Pop Century, <laughs> I had to have it. It was a slap koozie. Slap koozie? <laughs> yeah, and these are the only ones that they had left were the blue ones. Hmm. And so it's a slap koozie. I saw um, Garrett and Alyssa pick this up from the Leversons, and I thought, dude, I need to have this. So I got it. And it's perfect for like Pop Century to have slap bracelets. That's so genius. You should have capitalized on that sooner. Last bag. First, I've wanted this guy forever. This figment. He's so happy. He's so happy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> And he's a little, I think he's kind of small. You know, whatever. He was. For how much he was, yeah. He was $20, but I really wanted to get Figment this time because I eyeballed him last time I was there, but he needed to come home with me this time. He's like the only original Disney character that doesn't really have his own show or movie yeah. that I'm aware of. Right. He's just at the park for all the imagination and fun and art and stuff. I wanted to play one of the games at Dino Rama because I have never been to Dino Rama. Dino Rama! And so the only game we played was the only game that you could lose. And it costs $5 for one ticket, like one pass. I'm pretty sure that's for all the games. Mm -hmm. So you need to pick wisely if you only want to play one game. I got really lucky. How'd you get lucky? I. I threw the ball, because I played the ball in the hole, and I got Daryl. And Daryl is the biggest prize you can win that is exclusive, exclusive to so. Animal Kingdom. You cannot buy him anywhere. You only win him at that little game stand. Yeah. And he's and so cute. And he's huge. Like, if you look at Figment compared to him, he was $5 at a game of chance. And he was 20 at a game of there's 50 on the shelf. Hi, Daryl. Bye, Daryl. And the last thing is one more popcorn bucket. We have made it to the end. We saved the best for last. And I had to get it. Our king. It's Simba. King of the Pride Lands. And his back opens. Ah! And that's where the popcorn goes. And there's still some popcorn remnants in there. Anyway. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. He looks so good in our living room. You hold the child with two hands. You don't one hand the baby, you two hands the baby. We do have two more things. I thought this was the last thing, but it's not. Sorry, Simba. You were not the best for last. No, I'm sorry, buddy. I've never bought a pair of ears at Disney World. I've only gotten them through Poshmark or eBay, not even on Shop Disney, or even as a gift from him. Um, but I did decide the first day to pick up a pair of ears because I wanted to have something from, I wanted to have a pair from Disney. So I got these guys. Yeah. And they actually went really perfect with the anniversary outfit that I had. 
I just, they're velvet and they have the sequin bow. Oh, I just can't. They're so pretty. <laughs> so the last you thing, we actually bought this, like the last thing we bought. And we've, I've already worn it, but we got it to share. Nice sweater. It's a spirit jersey and it's like a burnt orange, light tomato color, if you will. And it's got the black Walt Disney on the back, Walt Disney World. And I've never seen one with the stripes on the sides like this, but this is a medium and it is humongous. It's Yo! humongous. And it's gonna be big on both of us. I do not dry my clothes when it comes to these things because they're, this was $80, so yeah. There, anyway, so we have finished our haul. So that's it. Let's, that's uh, the end of our haul. Let's put it into perspective though, because this is our receipt damage. Now, this also includes food, so. And it's all rolled up, so that kind of adds a layer. But. Yeah, it's a lot though. You get the gist of it. The grand total out of pocket was a little over $1,500. That's all food, drinks, parking, like everything. On top of a trip that was 2,500, so. Originally, it was, I think, 28 or 29, but I got the 30% off certain room discount at the beginning of the year. Nice. And since they're not doing the dining plan, I believe that about uh, probably 500-ish or so of that 1,500 would have been the food, either 500 to 700, because the last time I went, we only spent about 750 to 800 bucks. Yeah. And on our, souvenirs and tips. And our anniversary breakfast alone was about 150. Yeah, but the dinner before that was 200. <laughs> we ate a lot. And we ate stuff that we're not gonna get here. I mean, we can right. make it, but no, we're not gonna get it in the Midwest. Right. So, so grand total for the two of us, kind of carelessly going about it, was about four thousand dollars. Yeah. If you guys really take care of what you get, really think ahead on it, and. Stay disciplined while you're there. Don't get too loopy like myself. You, you could probably land under that. Yeah, we drove too. So we saved more money that way. I think so. <laughs> but I did find a round trip to Orlando from Southwest. That's only 200 and something dollars. So. Bleh. And I have a hundred dollar gift card. Whatever, but that's for one whatever. person. So I do want to try to take a solo trip before all that magical express goes away. Thanks again, everybody for joining us again on our channel, yet another video, whether it's gifts or just shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Appreciate y'all swinging by. Yeah, we're gonna bring a lot of content to 2021 in the new place because we have the space and the ideas. Yep. So. We got all kinds of content coming <laughs> for you. It's coming for you. It's coming for you. So subscribe down below, hit those likes, follow us up in this community. Yeah, let's, let's get to 100 subscribers by like Easter. By We're really Easter? close. We're like almost halfway there. That's a pretty generous margin there. If you like the lane lanes, we'll like you back. <laughs> I don't think he knew where that was going. No. We will see you guys on the flippity flop. Toodly dee. Yeedle. Skeedle. <laughs>